I'm Catherine of GameCast.net and I'm doing, finally, my unboxing for the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Codex Edition. So this was a Play exclusive but also available on the Ubisoft website so if you do manage to pick it up off Play you can get it off there which is the exact same price as it was on Play and it would be sent a bit better as well. Um, so this was sent in like a crappy what you could refer to as plastic bag packaging. Um, so it's gotten quite bashed up on the sides. So what I imagine used to be straight lines along the sides of this box are now kind of bashed. Um, just a bit. It's hard card though, so it hasn't like completely died or stuff, but it, it's quite bad on some pieces. Um, and I know a lot of other people who have actually had this problem as well, so bloody play. Yeah, what you're gonna do. So you can see the box uh, from here. And then you've got details on the innards of the Codex Edition, or Codex Edition, and all the DRC stuff that you get. And then you've got all the blurb like you would on the back of the box. Cool. So uh, it just opens up quite easily. It's nice because it's a hard card package. Um, you can't crease this bit, which is nice because I always crease them. Well, I try not to crease them, but it's quite easy to do. So it just slides out. There's no packing on the inside at all, it's just a box. Um, and then you've got, what do they call it, the Renaissance Collector's Chest. So it's got the Abstergo logo on it, um, which here is uh, embossed. And then around the edge it goes in, as you can see there. It's quite nice, a nice consistent theme. Uh, it's got all copyright doodads on the bottom. You can also tell that it's made out of fairly cheapish plastic, the kind that you'd get kids' toys made out of. Um, then the lid comes off. Which I will then pull off like that. Uh, sadly, so uh, it's it's fairly cheap plastic. I'd say like Sylvanian families had houses made out of this plastic and stuff like that. So it's got little uh, ridges to keep it in place. One of mine's actually broken. So I've got like the little bit luckily was uh, inside where the, the bits go in, the hole. Uh, so I'm going to have to glue that now onto that, which is kind of annoying, but it means I can fix it. Uh, so then you've got everything inside here, so I've kind of moved it all about because I've looked at it a few times and I've had other people look at it. So it's not in the right order, well, in the same order you'd get it if you bought the um, Codex Edition, but I'll just go through everything you get. So you get a large map of Rome, or Roma, as it would say back then. Quite big. Um, so you can see it actually details all the all the buildings that there are. Uh, no locations of any collectibles or anything like that, which is a shame. Uh, it's quite nice, although it has got some writing which is backwards across the top, but it's not actually in English, I don't think. Um, well, maybe some, no, probably not. Very tiny. And then on the back, you've got a nice big Brotherhood poster, which is the box art of the game. Uh, so you've got that, which is quite nice. Uh, shame it's not a cloth map. Then if it was a cloth map, you wouldn't have to post on the back, generally. Uh, you then get a pack of, I think it's multiplayer character cards, which I don't think I'm going to open at the moment. Or shall I open? I don't know. Do I have any reason to open them? I believe it just tells you about the uh, multiplayer characters that you can play as. Uh, so I'm going to leave that sealed. I see no point in opening. Um, unless I then find out it's got some DLC on it or something like that, then I will probably open it. Uh, so you then got a bonus disc, which similar to the Assassin's Creed 2 Crash Edition, uh, they come in these little sleevey things, so they're card sleeves, um, which if I just pull out here, I haven't looked at this yet, there you go, bonus DVD. Uh, it's apparently got artwork and videos on it, doesn't specify videos for what, I'd imagine just for Brotherhood, but you never know, might have some trailers of other Ubisoft games coming out. So you've got the bonus DVD, and then you get the soundtrack as well, similar to that. So exactly the same style, it just says game soundtrack. So 
Uh, so this is quite nice um, because this is not on Spotify, so you can't find it on there. Um, I don't think it's on any other websites. So you've got the game soundtrack, which is uh, Jasper, I would say Kai, but other people say Jasper Kid. Um, and then it's got 22 tracks, and there's a track listing there. So that's cool, because it's nice because it's actually a separate soundtrack, and not a soundtrack on a DVD that you can't actually get the music off. Uh, so that's cool, because the music of Assassin's Creed is always really, really nice. You then get, what do they refer to these as? Oh, these aren't actually on the box. So you get um, these kind of art cards by U Ubi Workshop, uh, which come in a nice little envelope. And slide out. She's quite fanciful. Uh, so they do apparently animate short movies, comic books, and art books, um, and then there's some uh, different character art, which is quite cool. easily make a really cool figure of her which uh, she's of course looks like a female out here and then you've got, um, got this, this, that. so they're quite nice I don't know if you get different ones at all because as it's not actually on the box of coming inside it it's a bit it's a bit of a mystery uh, but it's quite nice to have them. And the uh, the little envelope they come in is really thick, like paper, so it's really nice as well. You just slide that in there. You then have the uh, codex, what do you call it? Yeah, the codex, which has really nice detailing on it. But, uh, when I show you the inside, I will say it's not as top notch as the Dr. Halsey journal that you get with Halo Reach. So this the outside of this is amazing, it's really, really nice. Uh, it's all been... Well, it's pressed um, fake leather, so pressed plastic, but it just has a nice look to it all. And um, of course with the Astro logo. Um, so then this opens up. I will move in and uh, attempt to show the stuff after I've moved all my stuff out of the way. And that's, that's the whole co codex. You then get the, um, the film they made, Lineage, as well, on a DVD. Which all looks quite cool. I don't know if you can buy this separately, I, I imagine you can. It's only 36 minutes though. So this was the film they released around the time, well, not released, but showed around the time Assassin's, two, Assassin's Creed 2 came out because it is a prequel to the second game so that's cool and then it's seriously when I, I was uh, when I had a look at this first I was like okay where's my game and then I, I saw this little piece of ribbon so similar to what a lot of games have been doing recently actually uh, it's then got a little secret compartment so you can pull this little piece of velvety card out and then you've got the game that covered in fluff um, I haven't opened it yet because I only just got home uh, You'll notice it has no barcode on it because it is the copy that comes with the Codex edition. Now I've got to show my crappy opening skills. 
I had a hard surf surface, I would be able to open it in an instant. But I don't have any sharp corners, well, sharp edges anyway, in this room. Sadly. Well, I can't kind of do over there, but I've opened it now, anyways. There we go. And then, of course, you've got the game. Which is interesting to know, it's a Peggy 18 but a BBFC 15. And then of course you get what you get with it. Uh, so that's just all that. Uh, don't forget as well you play stuff because you can get extra stuff through that. It's got a colour instruction book. It's got a oh wow. Wow. Oh, oh yeah, of course. Okay, so Ubisoft of course were um, cutting down on manuals, although this still has a manual on it. Um, the only point of the manual though is to the controls. Things there are a lot of, but of course there will be multiplayer controls and single player controls. Um, so you then get so there's an advertisement for a Assassin's Creed Brotherhood novel, which weirdly enough is double sided. Uh, they could have animate uh, advertised the new animated short on there, but they haven't, I suppose. And then you get a DLC code thing, which nicely has some silver stuff over it. So I could show that. Uh, so you get two solo missions, uh, two multiplayer characters, and some armor for Ezio, which are, as you can see there, mm. sorry for the shaking. And yeah, so that's that's pretty much all you get with Codex Edition. It's quite nice. Put it all back in. I think, to be fair. Um, it's nicely presented. It's also got a really nice box, which I would say I prefer to the God of War uh, collection, uh, God of War trilogy box, because that felt a lot cheaper than this does. Not saying that this is really, oh no, really, really cheap. Where's my thing? Damn, I'm going to have a hunt for that. I've sort of lost my little piece that broke off. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice pack edition. Um, I hear it's uh, all sold on play. You may be able to find some on the Ubisoft website, and they're going really expensive on eBay. Um, but it's a nice pack edition. Ubisoft do use some nice pack editions every now and again. Uh, so well done on them for getting this. And I hear the multiplayer is awesome, and the single player is awesome, and I will have to make sure to play it because I haven't been able to play it up until now because I only just got it this morning. Um, so yeah, there's that. Really cool. I hope uh, everyone that's bought one enjoys it, and everyone that's waiting for those to arrive enjoys it as well. Um, the next competition I will probably be doing will be um, World of Warcraft Cataclysm, I imagine, which comes out this oh Jesus, seventh of December. That's quite soon. So I don't think there's anything coming out quite soon that I want that hasn't get isn't getting a competition over here. So I'm getting Epic Mickey. Um, but the Clash Edition isn't coming out in the UK, so I sadly won't be getting that. Um, yeah. Um, I'm also wearing my Brotherhood. Can you read that? Brotherhood hoodie. It has the logo on the back. Which. Can you see? It's quite cool. They also have. Um, uh, T-shirts on the Ubisoft website as well if you like those, or the hoodie. Uh, the hoodie was actually £15 I paid for it. Here's a mess now. Um, however, as they were for pre-orders, um, £15 it seems, they are now £20 if you want to buy one. But it's a nice hoodie, it's quite uh, thin for a hoodie, but it has a zip as you will notice. Um, but the smallest size they come in is medium, so this is like absolutely huge, as you can see there. I'd rather it be like a bit here, but you know, when it's the smallest is medium, it's all you can do really. Plus, fifteen pounds for a hoodie was really, really cheap, so I'm happy I picked one up. So yeah, Brotherhood looks cool. I'm looking forward to playing it, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, catch you for Cataclysm. Bye.